in this video I'm going to be covering internal linking for SEO as well as showing you how best to implement internal links on your website to improve your on-page SEO. Hi everyone, my name is Itamar Blauer. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss out on any future SEO videos. Now before we get started, leave a comment below if you're currently implementing internal linking as part of your on-page SEO strategy. I'll be curious to know your strategies in the comments. Now without further ado, let's get started. So internal links are very important, not just for Google, but also for your users. It's helpful for Google because you can essentially tell Google how to crawl or how to move through your website effectively. It's also beneficial for your users because if you've got content pieces that are related, you're able to improve the user experience by sending users to relevant pages on your website regarding that particular topic that they were just reading. So the question is, how should we implement internal links as part of our SEO strategy? So I'm going to show you my website homepage and what I do in terms of internal linking to kind of tell Google how my content is split up, for example, with service pages, for instance. So I've got four different service pages on the drop down here. So, you know, you've got the links from the navigational menu. But I also want to make it more explicitly clear within the content. So adding contextual internal links is also really important. So I've got one here for the contact me page. And the one thing to realize as well is you should avoid using generic anchor text. So don't use anchor text like here or click here, for instance, because that's not adding relevancy in terms of your internal linking. So what I do is, for instance, I'll have an internal link here to the SEO consultant page. And then obviously users who click through to that will reach my SEO consultant London service page. And even within service pages as well, I've got different internal links to other service pages just to make that distinction, as well as helping users on the site who are reading this content to be able to see different services that I offer. And also I've got different anchor texts, for example, linking back to my home page, for example, with this anchor text, London SEO expert. So that will go back there. But then the question is as well, if you've got lots of content on your website, for example, on your blog pages, how do you know exactly where you should be placing the internal links? So one of the things that I would do is do a site search on Google and type in a particular keyword that you've got a blog post about. So for instance, I've done this site search with brand management afterwards. And obviously the first thing to come up is my brand management guide. But then when I scroll down, there's more content here where I've mentioned brand management. And this will give you the opportunities to internally link to the brand management guide in this example from all of these pages. So let's just have a look so I can show you how I've done this. So for example, with this blog post here, you just have to control F, find the term that is mentioned, brand management. So I've linked brand management here as the anchor to the brand management guide. The same thing as well with this blog post, for instance. So I put brand management here. So I've got the anchor text brand management guide that links to that from my link building strategies article. And then finally as well, I've got it here. So brand management guide again as the anchor to link to that from this blog post. So that's something that you can do on pretty much every piece of content that you have. If you find that you've been mentioning it in a different article that's somehow related, then it's always best to internal link to that article. Try and use a variety of different anchor texts as well. That will also be helpful, especially if you want to target different keywords to rank for that particular page or blog post or whatever it may be. Always try and add some variety in your anchor text and make sure that they are relevant. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial about how to use internal linking for SEO. If you did leave a like rating below and subscribe if you haven't already. I've been Itamar Blau. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, you've reached the end of this video, but don't worry, there's plenty more great content that you can watch right now. All you have to do is click one of the two video links on the left side of the screen. And also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to never miss out on future uploads.